Melissa C from slumpygfx.org and today I'll be teaching you how to enhance your eyes or change your eye color in Photoshop CS5. Now this is a really cool effect to learn and it's really easy so you can impress your friends with your different colored eyes or make your eyes pop in pictures. Now we'll be using our dodge tool and our shape tool to create these effects. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I've just opened this picture in Photoshop that I'm going to work with for both the effects. And all I'm going to do is just zoom in closer to the eyes so you can see what I'm doing. And the first thing I'm going to do is enhance these eyes. Now I'm going to be using my dodge tool just to brighten these eyes up a little bit more. And I'm going to use the nice little soft brush that comes in first from your default list and reduce the size to around 15 pixels. Um, you're going to need a different size obviously depending on your photo. This just works a bit better. And now I'm just working on the, the eye area, just making it a little whiter, a little brighter and so the model looks a little more awake. Now make sure you don't dodge your eyes to the point where it looks unnaturally white or practically glowing in your photograph. So this is what it looks like when I'm done. I think it's a nice little subtle highlight to the eyes. And if I just unhide the layer, you can see it has a really nice touch to the picture. Now we're going to change our eye color by starting with a new layer. and. We're going to rename this layer to eye color just so when you keep on going with your edit you're not going to muck it up or model it with your other layers. So um, this is great if you want to make yourself into a demon or something. Um, so I'm going to change her eye color to red so she looks all vampiric and demonic and whatever takes your fancy. Um, so I'm going to use my ellipse tool. So now I'm just going to make a nice circle shape over her irises and it doesn't have to be exact, it can just be approximate and make sure you hold down your shift when you make it so the proportions are nice and you don't get this distorted weird fat circle. So just move it around until it goes over the eyes nicely and I'm going to set it on overlay, wow that looks nice and natural. Um, and all I'm going to do is just reduce opacity so it doesn't look so red eye-ish. So just play around with opacity until you get the right fit. I'm going to leave it around 50 to around 60%. Actually I might just go back in and fix it and just reduce it to around 55 I think would be good. Yeah so now you can see the red's peeking out. I'm just going to fix it by taking my eraser tool and I'm going to use a soft brush change my brush size to around 20 pixels and just zoom in and erase and you can see now it's kind of starting to blend in with our eye now I'm just finishing up by erasing around and yep that's what one eye looks like when I'm done now you can see that looks pretty awesome I think so I'm gonna get started on the second eye create a new layer and we're just going to be taking the exact same steps for this eye. Create a circle, move it over the eye, and you know, same thing. Set it on overlay, and I'm going to reduce opacity to the same opacity I used before, which is around 55%. Now I'm going to take my eraser tool and erase. So finishing touches, and I'm done. See how easy that was? So that's how you change eye colors, and you can probably do that in under five minutes, I think. And now, red eyes might not be for in everyone, so you can also use blue or green, or God knows you can use yellow or pink if you want. So I'm going to be using green just to demonstrate this effect again. So I'm just going to pick a nice deep green color, and again, same steps, same drill, create a shape over your eye and move it until it fits, overlay, and this time I'm going to reduce opacity to around 35%, just so it looks a bit more natural, we don't want it to be 
a really, really dark green that looks out of place. So again, I'm gonna do this to the other eye. New layer, of course. I'm gonna create a green circle, drag it over the eyes, set it on overlay, and same opacity as the other eye, around 35%. And now I'm just going to take my eraser, erase, and I'm done. So that's how you do it. Um, it gets quite easy after you do it a few times. So now make sure you don't keep it at 100% your opacity, that is. That just looks really, really weird. And people who look at your pictures will notice. So that's just a massive no, alright? Don't do that. Don't put yourself to shame. So the very last effect is going to help you achieve brighter and clearer eyes and it's the same steps as the last effect where you change your eye colour except with white. Now make sure that your colour is set to white before you begin and I'm just going to use my colour figure and using my ellipse tool of course, as you can see I'm just going to create a white circle over my iris. Again, it's the same thing, move them around, set it to overlay, and reduce opacity. Now you can see this is really cool, and it's really just a handy tip, I think. You can set it to overlay or soft light, as I just demonstrated. And of course, this is optional, you can even add this after you change your eye color. And I set the opacity to around 50%. So it looks nice and naturally bright. Now I'm just going to erase around the eyes until it blends in. And I'm going to do the same to my other eye. Now you can definitely use this effect if your eyes look a bit dim in the picture or you know you just want to brighten them up, give them a boost. So now if I just unhide my layers you can see it's just giving them this really nice glisten and just makes them really pop, I think. Alrighty, now that you've got these tricks under your belt, you can use your very own Photoshop CS5 to give yourself a sneaky eye enhancement or change your eye colour. Remember that if you like this tutorial, like the video, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for even more tutorials. Thanks for watching another Simply GFX tutorial, and I'll see you later. Bye!